Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's going to be another beautiful day to be sober and to have a higher power in your life. Let's get started. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again one day at a time. On awakening, let us think about the 24 hours ahead. We consider our plans for the day. Before we begin, we ask God to direct our thinking, especially asking that it be divorced from self-pity, dishonest, or self-seeking motives. Under these conditions, we can employ our mental faculties with assurance. For after all, God gave us brains to use. Our thought life will be placed on a much higher plane when our thinking is cleared of wrong motives. In thinking about our day, we may face indecision. We may not be able to determine which course to take. Here we ask God for inspiration, an intuitive thought or a decision. We relax and take it easy. We do not struggle. We are often surprised how the right answers come after we have tried this for a while. What used to be the hunch or the occasional inspiration gradually becomes a working part of the mind. Being still inexperienced and having just made conscious contact with God, it is not probable that we are going to be inspired at all times. We might pray for this presumption in all sorts of absurd actions and ideas. Nevertheless, we find that our thinking will, as time passes, be more and more on the plane of inspiration. We come to rely upon it. We usually conclude the period of meditation with a prayer that we be shown all through the day what our next step is to be, that we be given whatever we need to take care of such problems. We ask especially for freedom from self-will and are careful never to make request for ourselves only. We may ask for ourselves, however, if others will be helped. We are careful never to pray for our own selfish ends. Many of us have wasted a lot of time doing that, and it doesn't work. You can easily see why. If circumstances warrant, we ask our wives or friends to join us in morning meditation. If we belong to a religious denomination which requires a definite morning devotion, we attend to that also. If not members of religious bodies, we sometimes select and memorize a few set prayers which emphasize the principles we have been discussing. There are many helpful books also. Suggestions about these may be obtained from one's priest, minister, or rabbi. Be quick to see where religious people are right. Make use of what they offer. As we go through the day, we pause when agitated or doubtful and ask for the right thought or action. We constantly remind ourselves we are no longer running the show, humbly saying to ourselves many times each day, Thy will be done. We are then in much less danger of excitement, fear, anger, worry, self-pity, or foolish decisions. We become much more efficient. We do not tire so easily for we are not burning up energy foolishly as we did when we were trying to arrange life to suit ourselves. It works. It really does. We alcoholics are undisciplined, so we let God discipline us in the simple way we have just outlined. But this is not all. There is action and more action. Faith without works is dead. October 27th. Thought for the day. 7th. I can help other alcoholics. I am of some use in the world. I have a purpose in life. I am worth something at last. My life has a direction and a meaning. All that feeling of futility is gone. I can do something worthwhile. God has given me a new lease on life so that I can help other alcoholics. He has let me live through all the hazards of my alcoholic life to bring me at last to a place of real usefulness in the world. He has let me live for this. This is my opportunity and my destiny. I am worth something. Will I give as much of my life as I can to AA? Meditation for the day. All of us have had our own battles to win. The battle between the material view of life and the spiritual view. Something must guide our lives. Will it be wealth, pride, selfishness, and greed? Or will it be faith, honesty, purity, unselfishness, love, and service? Each of us has a choice. We can choose good or evil. We cannot choose both. Are we going to keep striving until we win the battle? If we win the victory, we can believe that even God in his heaven will rejoice. Prayer for the day. 
I pray that I may choose the good and resist the evil. I pray that I will not be a loser in the battle for righteousness. Why do I want what I want in the first place? The reading talks about material versus spiritual. Until you suffer a tragedy or a loss, we search for excitement in monetary success, bodies, attention, what have you, and we don't know why. Sure, it feels good and provides a sense of security, but there is no comparing that feeling to the feeling that you get when you overcome selfishness and help another human being, just for the sake of helping. No ulterior motives. Developing a faith in a higher power that you believe in your heart will have your back no matter what. That is when the journey begins. That he has a plan for you and you don't have to try to control the outcomes anymore. When you are helpful, useful to the world in a selfless way, the byproduct is happiness. Happiness doesn't come from the new boat, the new car, the new woman, the new man. God will always provide what I need, especially when I don't know what I want. And that is most of the time. Most of life is run on autopilot. The question is, who is really driving the bus? Mine it and give away the entire load and you will receive more than you could have ever imagined. Try it a few times. If you haven't already tried it, try it and see how it feels. He is either everything or he is nothing. It is not 99% and 1. It is 100% and 0. He is either everything or he is nothing. Another great blank canvas where you can create whatever you want with this day. Carpe the diem. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.